Hey guys, Tech Commentary with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the graphite color of the iPhone 13 Pro here in an unboxing video. As you can see here, this phone actually came out a couple months ago, back in September 24th of this year, but we're doing an unboxing, an updated one, just so you guys can see if you haven't had the chance to get one or thinking of buying one, hopefully this will help. As you know, this phone comes in four different colors. You can get it in graphite, gold, silver, and Sierra Blue, of course, and this is the graphite version of unboxing. As you can see here, the box still slim like the iPhone 12 boxes are, and that's because there isn't much being included. And as you notice here, update to the packaging of the boxes that now these they have these strip paper strip basically there's no more plastic wrapping which apple claims to be their way to become more eco-friendly or just be friendly to earth so as you can see here a couple things here you'll read here things like the pro and the usb-c to lightning cable that's going to be included here however power adapter and headphones again so separately now so you're not getting that power adapter and the headphones that you used to get the wired one at least you don't get it anymore and of course you don't get the airpods if you're thinking oh you get the airpods these are not actually being included here so and then a couple other things here of course the 13 pro comes with 5g and a couple other things we will talk about in terms of getting this so if you're getting this one here as you can see this is the 128 gig model which cost our around $9.99 plus taxes depending on your state wherever you buy it from so let's go ahead and start the unboxing one so the first thing we're going to do is take that tab off here as you can see they give us a direction which way to go so this is just going to be a dotted one so hopefully you guys like that on my it's more of rubbery paper and then of course flipping over on this side here so we're going to go ahead and take that off so once you undo those, you're ready to go ahead and unbox it. You can see the fingerprints already on the box. The box, you'll notice here, it's going to be a little bit raised. So these text here is being raised in the previous iPhone. We haven't seen that logo here and all around that graphite design. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to be in the box. So as you can see here, of course, in the box, it's going to be the phone itself. So you can see here, one of the big things you probably notice us reviewing it in other videos is those bulky cameras, as you can see here just popping out standing out and the box itself so that's what's going to be included in the box and of course the phone and then the box itself here as you'll notice we mentioned the only thing you're really getting at that USB-C cable you will need to connect that to one of this outlet where it's not the USB-C uh, USB anymore it's going to be that lightning port so it's going to uh, be slightly different because this is a USB. See, this goes right in here, and you'll need to get this. This separately costs almost like thirty dollars. So something Apple wants you to spend more money on already, paying a thousand dollar for the phone itself. And then, of course, in the box pamphlet, if you don't know, it's going to be a couple things here. You're going to get that SIM ejector tool to take the SIM card out if you need to put a new SIM card in. Apple logo sticker, and then that safety and handling little pamphlet. Really slim down box, of course. That's what's going to be in the box. So let's go ahead and put the box side together here and just we'll take a look at the phone itself. As you'll notice here, the phone is slightly heavier than the iPhone 12 Pro because of those bigger cameras overall around. You can see you already have like fingerprint just touching it and then it's going to fade away. So the edge here, as you see, it's a shiny edge. So it's more of a... Uh, shinier version of it. it's not a matte edge and then the back glass here again we're trying to put fingerprint on it as you see here it just comes up and down and then the cameras here again big bulking cameras and at the bottom here we got the speakers here as you can see and then the 5g antenna which is on the right hand side your big power or the side button and then the volume up volume down button and the volume up button as you can see here when we do fit fingerprint on it on the light it starts to dissip dissipate so that's going to be one thing to note so we're going to go ahead and take that off and while we do that we're going to go ahead and power on the device to power on the device you're going to want to hold the side button so once you hold that side button you're going to be ready to power on as you see the apple logo just give it some time it's booting up again if it doesn't boot up right away no problem just make sure the phone is charged up and as you see the hello animation this is on ios 15 that's the new way when you get to what used to be just a hello with, without all that colorfulness now you get that full cat 
call for animation and you're going to be presented with the home screen here ready to go so simply you want to click on the language country quick start and of course the network here so we're going to go ahead and connect to our demo wi-fi here well, we connect uh, to the Wi-Fi here. This step takes somewhere between 10 to 15 seconds or it sends the information over to Apple server to make sure the phone is, of course, genuine phone and it's Apple product. So that's how you activate a phone. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can also use uh, what's known as just simply any sort of uh, iTunes or any sort of internet connection. So as you can see here, this phone does require SIM already. Sometimes if you buy on lock phone, that might be the case if you buy it from a carrier, no problem. We can simply insert a SIM card in here and we should be good to go. So for our cases, this method, if you're setting it up, if you don't have a SIM card already, you, you're gonna have to do this, which again, take that SIM tray that we saw there uh, and take out the SIM tray, which is gonna be on the left-hand side, pop it in there. And once you pop it in there, it's going to pop up. And then simply take your SIM here. And to set it up here, you're going to go ahead and put it on top of here. It's going to sit flush. You're going to have that gold piece facing upwards. And it's going to sit flush there. Insert it again. And now this time, we're going to go ahead, go back, and try one more time. So again, this might be the case. Again, if you're getting it from a specific carrier, it doesn't have a SIM cord recommended to use a new sim card if you do use a new sim card you might have to transfer your number over which your carrier can do if you have an existing sim card that also works but note that with older sim card you might not have things like 5g if your carrier does have 5g face id you want to set this up so you can unlock your phone do an apple pay and other purchases and to do other apple subscription based services you don't have to set this up you can only set it up later Passcode, highly recommended. Use whatever your choice is here, which simply not going to use the passcode. Again, just saying it's highly recommended, but for our purposes, so we can show you how to set up a phone and just doing that unboxing. We're just simply going through all of that. Apple ID, again, every Apple phone requires some sort of Apple ID being signed in to download and install and simply use Apple services. So make sure you do that. Terms and condition, agreeing here. Keeping your iPhone up to date, iMessage, and make sure that you use that location services again and make sure this is enabled so you can use stuff. But for our purposes, we're just going to simply click on disable Siri, the system voice assistant for Apple products. You're going to go ahead and say the commands to set it up. Screen time again, a weekly report that you get on your iPhone, and all of this other stuff which you can choose. And finally, we are at the home screen ready to go. So that's going to be the iPhone. 13 Pro for you with iOS 15. As you notice, iOS 15 has those app icons, app library, all of that, and much more going on. Again, you're going to notice features like photographic style when you open up the camera for the very first time, where you can choose the style of your design that you like for your photography style. You're going to hit that. And then the other feature that's popular for the 13 Pro, it's going to be that cinematic mode. As you notice here, that cinematic mode is that advertised by Apple here. That's going to be the new updated feature on the 13 Pro that you're going to be able to get. One thing about the 13 Pro that's going to be pretty unique is that it does have almost, uh, you know, a really powerful chip. You have I, the A15 Bionic chip, and it has 6 gigs of RAM internally built, so it's going to be great for gaming and things like that, which we're going to test out and multitasking and doing a bunch of stuff here. The display here, as you know, is a 6.1 inch display, 2532 by 1170 pixel resolution, and that 120 hertz refresh rate for the very first time. So, as you notice here, it's much crispier when you are just flickering through the screen because that's what that 120 hertz refresh rate it's supposed to make you feel like it's supposed to make you feel like it's more smooth compared to that 60 hertz which used to be sort of the base for all the iPhones in the past so again hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and if this video is you know something you guys like make sure that like and subscribe button also we want to hear from you guys what color of the iPhone 13 Pro is your favorite and why and if you have started using the iPhone 13 Pro How's your experience so far? Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.